You guys know this guy, Ozzy Smith, Hall of Famer. Dude, thank you so much for hopping on the feed. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, we have some of your best social media posts, so you ready to take a look at them? Yeah, let's do it. First one, we got to start with the iconic photo. The photo with the chops, <laughs> and those were early days, and uh, I'm hoping, I'm thinking, or I'm feeling that I look a little bit better today than I did back then. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think you're going to bring that look back? No, that's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> Next, here you go. You're known for this, too. This is awesome. You know, this is, I guess, what kind of put me on the map, you know, uh, the famous flip, and it's the most asked question today. Can I still do that? And my answer is not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also the most posted photo that you have on any of your social media ch uh, channels. So is this to you one of your favorite pictures personally for yourself? Well, I mean, it certainly is because it, it became a trademark. And, um, you know, so, uh, of course, I, 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 don't, I don't mind seeing that. And it's been around a long time. Amazing. Here's the next one yourself. Jimmy Rollins and Derek Jeter. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a classic. There, I don't know exactly where that was taken. We all were much younger then. Michael Jordan's tournament. Okay, back in the day. What's your best memory of Derek Jeter from seeing him play? Because obviously we're here at the MLB store in New York City at the Rollins event. Anthony Volpe just won a Gold Glove. Uh, do you see any similarities between the two of them? It's never easy replacing a legend, and to be able to come behind uh, Derek Jeter, who is a legend in, in the game, and and perform and, and win itself a gold glove as a rookie. Well, that's pretty good, you know, um, that's pretty good. And I think it, speak, it speaks to his grit, his determination, and his enthusiasm for the game and uh, the confidence that the Yankees also have in him. And here you are with Aaron Judge. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a land of the Giants, you know. He, um, and when they played in St. Louis, I was able to, to get to the ballpark and got a chance to meet him and hang out with him for a little bit and watch some of his monstrous shots. You in the same lineup with him would be a, uh, a pack of mean punch one too, right? <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it would be fun playing with a player like that, you know, that has his caliber. And, um, you know, he's been fun to watch. And it's been fun watching him become a better defensive player as well. You know, he gets a lot of credit for his offense and stuff. But, um, you know, he's a pretty, pretty decent defensive player as well. And I think that... For my generation, anyway, it was uh, it was about being as well rounded as you could possibly be, being able to play on both sides of the ball, and he's, he can certainly do that. Coming from you, that says a lot. And here we go, the last two posts, the best closer of all time, Mariano Rivera. Yeah, he would have made my job a lot easier too. <laughs> Although I got to play with some greats, you know, I got to play with um, uh, Lee Smith, I got to play with Todd Warrell, I played with Bruce Suter. Uh, Dennis Eckersley, um, Tom Hinkey. Um, you know, it was it would have been fun to have been able to add uh, Mariano to my resume. <laughs> Final post right here is a video. So you uh, did a little recreation with the St. Louis Cardinals for a bobblehead. This looked like it was fun. It was cool. Back in the day, I did a thing for a. a um, it was a Rawlings poster, actually, and had me with the cape and smoke and all of that. And we got got a chance when they were uh, creating this bobblehead, they got a chance to kind of re recreate that iconic shot. And uh, people loved it. Looks sweet. I love the little hand movements, too. You still got it going on. <laughs> well, it's like riding a bike, you know. Uh, once good hand movements, always good hand movements. Amazing. So like you said, that was Rawlings event. We're here at a Rawlings event today at the MLB store. So being able to interact with fans, whether it's social media or an event like this, how much does that mean to you? Well, I mean, I think uh, I, I like uh, being here in, in, in person. You know, sometimes it, uh, you, through social media, you don't really get a chance to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. And it's always nice to be able to visit with people one-on-one -on -one and, and get a, for them to get a chance to see you uh, up close and personal. And and to me, that's what the game was all about. Amazing. Guys, definitely make sure you check out our social media pages. Great follow, and thank you so much for hopping on the feed. All right, thank you.